look at page three and that is still to do with uh, what we had looked at on the other newspaper and it's to do with poll results. Mugabe tops list of searches. Now that's not a major surprise given uh, the kind of legacy that he has left and it's amazing how quickly human beings move on because there's a time Mugabe was literally uh, all over but now there seems to have uh, been a cool down on uh, Zimbabwe's politics but there you go he tops the list and another one is uh, Babuino for example, who was top of the list of those uh, being searched. Uh, Mugabe, that's actually quite expected. Uh, he is uh, one of the longest serving leaders in Africa, and he came out in a very controversial way. Mm. And I heard that he went to Singapore the first time he was out of the country. So people must have been you know, looking at uh, issues to do with his health, mm. issues to do with uh, what he has done, and more so what he owns. Mm -hmm. So there are, there's a lot to, to, to research about Mugabe and you know, his history. Mm -hmm. And people are also, there are all those who support him and support what he has done before mm -hmm. uh, when, when, when he was uh, fighting the colonialists. And there are those who actually adore him. And they may actually lo be looking for him you know, as, as a role model. As a role model. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, it's a fine line and sometimes yeah. it's just knowing when to quit because there is when a time that was very popular, especially with Zimbabweans, because yeah. he was very um, solid on fighting for the people yeah, and the ensuring people. that okay. colonialists did not take over the country. But at some yeah. point, uh, it felt like he had dragged on for too long. For but too anyway, long, yes. there you go. Yeah. We'll wait and see how Mnagangwa, the current president, is going to take things, especially now that they are preparing for elections in 2018. Let's finish off with the nation on page 14 which is the cartoon this morning and uh, this is also uh, looking at uh, the state of our roads and there is a cartoon there if we can get there with uh, traffic police basically busting through his seams page 14 and uh, yeah that's a cartoon that we are going to um, have as we finish off with our newspaper review. Okay, we will get there, but basically, okay. oh, there you go, finally. Um, we have a police officer, an NTSA, basically busting through the seams with uh, money that they seem to have collected. Meanwhile, Kenyans are dying. I think it's, we are paying an ultimate price for corruption. It's actually quite sad that uh, as a country, we, we, can, we do not also know the line that we should not cross. Mm. We crossed the red line a long time ago. Mm -hmm. When the life of somebody becomes uh, so simple and so easy for you that the money is the most important thing, then definitely the, the morals of the country are at a part, you know? Mm. And there's need to bring up the morals even before co tackling corruption. Mm. This is not going to end. This is not going to end now. It's not going to end now. We so need, we to, need to have end. concrete steps. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, and that's what